Alright, uh, listen. You sit here and watch the tourists. Especially now. <laughs> well, so obviously you know what I'm talking about, right? You've heard of them. You've seen the warnings, the sirens, you've seen the warnings, the giant signs, literal giant signs all across I-4. I know you've seen them, we all sit in traffic, we don't use the express lanes, we're locals. <laughs> it's how to scream and the sirens. Darkness. Hex. The twins flame and frost and the most wicked one of all! You all obviously know who I am, right? Yep. Right, yeah, you know. You know, right? You know who I am? Don't be scared. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm Sam Hud Hudson. Woo! <laughs> yes. Woo! Thank you. The Hudder Hunter Under the Deep. I put the Hud in Hudson. That's what it stands for. Hud, Hunter Under the Deep. No, it doesn't stand for housing and urban development. Thank you very much. That's right, Oz. Dad jokes. They're coming fast and furious. Strap in. <laughs> I'm the greatest monster hunter of all, folks. And you know why? Because I believe things. Things that go bump in the night. Nightmares. Boogie people. Oh, yes. Monsters can be PC, too. I've hunted them all. Bigfoot? Oh, he's real. Smells like salami and has tons of hairballs and knots and spurs. Murder on his poor stylus. The Loch Ness Monster? Nessie? Oh, she's real. Thinks the locks are a personal pool. Plus, she's got the deal. Makes money off all the tourists. Pretty smart cookie right there. Oh, and that chupacabra who was caught on film a couple years ago. Who do you think was holding the camera? Well, no, no I wasn't. I paid a kid 20 bucks to do it. But who do you think uploaded it to TikTok? That is now. Which brings me to all of you. Why you are all here? You want to hear old Hud spin a tale, do you? Yeah, I love you. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you a tale. The tale of my time on the trail of those wicked ladies with the gorgeous voices. The monster sisters we call the Sirens. And my tale starts at the very beginning. A very good place to start. You see, when I was a little kid, my dad had this friend. His name was Adam. He was an explorer. And he would come to our house and tell us all these stories. My dad didn't believe Adam, and he would say to me, Son, you can't trust that Adam. Do you know why? Because they make up everything. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it took me a minute to get that joke, too. But the thing is, I believe. Now, you know those old sayings? It's better to light a candle than to fear the darkness. Or be afraid of the dark. Oh, the darkness is real, and she is always... My father didn't believe. He would not ever take it seriously. When we were a little, little kid, I said to my dad, do you know why it is so dark at night? And he looked at me and he said, no, son. One person back then. But in all seriousness, folks, darkness, darkness is a supernatural being. She is the personification of wickedness and evil, and boy, does she grow shame. The oldest of the What's five down? siren sisters, the motherly it? protector to this What's wicked down? coven. She controls the waters and has her deepest bonds with the creatures within. In fact, in this tank, she could be listening right now, so we have to be careful. She hugs it and has a deep, deep disgust for humankind. You see, to her, we've polluted the waters and taken advantage of all the resources of this earth. I mean, she's not wrong. Everyone tells me, hey, hug, relax. The darkness will pass. Well, you know what else passes? Kidney stones. Doesn't mean they don't hurt on the way out. I was hunting her once. A long time ago, I was on this fleet of potato boats out in the Atlantic Ocean, right? And there we are. Look out to the east of the ocean. We see a squall forming. And from that squall, we see darkness's little pet. The Kraken. All mean arms, sweet brown. I'm a brave soul, but I got scared that day. I jumped into the water and I swam as fast and as far as I could away from that kraken. And when I turned around, you know what I saw? That kraken was eating all ten of those potato chips. Why was it eating all ten? Because nobody can eat just one potato chip. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll lay off the bad jokes. But in all seriousness, folks, darkness is a terrible hunter. When she hunts you, she marks her prey. I'll tell you. Basically, what she does 
If she's gonna hunt you and take you down, she'll she'll put a black spot in her hand. Like basically like right in the middle of your hand, she'll put a black spot. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> you were right. Uh, well, I'm in trouble. Um I think maybe I should run. Should I run? I can't, do you know why? I can't run because I'll always be spotted. <laughs> so I have to I'm sorry to do. I have to stay and I have to fight. But if I'm going down, I'm not going down without a fight. I'm going down swinging. Who's with me? That's right, we're going to take her down. Look, we can't kill her with kindness. A machete, baby. We're not going to call it revenge. We're going to call it returning the favor. Look, I don't know about you, I do not want to become a victim of these sirens. You know, they're a lot like zombies. They crave brains. But in all seriousness, if I'm gonna hunt, I need someone to help me hunt. I need a brave soul. Now look, I'm not, I usually ask for volunteers, but I'm picking someone right now. You have been my supporter, will you help me? Come join me, give them a round of applause! Yes, What's your name? Eric. Eric, awesome. Give it up for Eric! Yes, Eric. from? Virginia! Fantastic, what part? Alexandria. Very nice. Excellent. Well, welcome. Welcome, Eric. Eric, um, yeah, I have a nickname. My name is Hud, so I want to give you a nickname. I'm going to give you this nickname. It's uh, Bait. Why do I call you Bait? Yeah, that could be your whole nickname. All right, Eric, stay right there. Now, we're going to hunt us a siren, so there's a couple of things we need. Eric, first of all, this right here. Hold on to this. This is protection. I'll tell you when to put it on. Not yet, uh, but I'll tell you. Not that it doesn't go there. No, it doesn't stay. It's not practical. It would be weird pasties. The point is this, Eric. When I point at you, you'll put those on. This is protection. You always want to have protection when you're dealing with the sirens. If you think perhaps or not. Forget about them. Oh, oh, I'm talking about your mites. Oh, it's your mites. Mine's out of the gun. Okay. Thank you. All right. Now, this right here is a very important device. It's called a flashlight. It's a flash. Yeah. It goes on like this. Always point it up. I'll hand this to you and I'll tell you when to put it on, okay? All right, go ahead and put those on, Bain. Great, now that Bain can't hear us, here's what's really going to happen. He is going to attract a siren to us. And then the siren is uh, feasting on his body, eating him. I'm going to throw a net over the siren and we're going to bang us a siren. <laughs> Bain's job will be done at that point. You'll have to find a ride home. Um, Bain, did you hear any of that? Bait, did you hear any of that? Bait, did you hear any of that? Awesome! That's consent. Okay. Bait. Alright. Turn it on. It's a complicated machine. Alright, Bait, aim it up in the air. Yes! Now Bait, spin in a circle slowly. Don't get don't don't look at sick. Oh, 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 he's too late. All right, now you're gonna help out too. We need a siren song. When I point at you, you're gonna say up. Here we go. Up. Light up. I guess uh, sirens don't like Fallout Boy very much. <laughs> All right, well, Bate, uh, you can take those down. You can take these off. What? Did you feel a siren come near you at all? No, oh, it didn't work. I'll take those back. Bate, it's not your fault. All right, give it up for Bate! Thank you so much. Look, when we're hunting these sirens, they're like, they're really tricky fish, you know what I mean? Sometimes they get a little coy. <laughs> Um, 
<laughs> okay, here's what's gonna happen, folks. This is the part of the show where things get a little more serious um, because there's a siren on the way. So, uh, this is what we're gonna do. Uh, you, um, you're gonna stay in your seats just like this. You're gonna stay wherever you are because that's the best place for you to be, right? And when the siren comes, what I want you to do is like put your hands up in the air, right? Put your hands up in the air like this and say, hey, siren! You killed it. You said it. Okay, good. Uh, now I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna watch from up here. Like I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna climb up these stairs. You know, I'm just gonna be uh, running up the hill. <laughs> We've all seen stranger things, am I right, dude? <laughs> It's all about deception. I deceive you, you deceive her, she eats you, and I survive. So bye! Bye! Okay. I said the inside part out loud about you dying, and I'm sorry. So, uh, okay, here's what's gonna happen, folks. I'm gonna. The siren's gonna come, you'll distract her for a second, then I will get her attention. I'll run that way, she'll follow me, and then you can go about your night and howl scream. Have fun! <laughs> and then you can come back later and see if I lived. Look, folks, I'm not proud of it. I'm, a, I'm not as brave as I kind of put on. I'm kind of like a skeleton, you know? Maybe I'm... Okay, but seriously, folks, I'm going to head into that smoky area right now. And then just send a look at those nests. If I can get some encouragement, that would be helpful. No! It's just a gas leak. Hooray! I mean, that's still a problem. We should probably report that to someone in management, but the good news is it's not a siren and we're not gonna die! Yeah. Which is really good because I didn't want to die. I'm not a fan of dying. You know when you die, the last thing on your body that stops working are your eyes. Did you know that? It's because they dilate. That's serious. Hey! 